point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Famous words created by capitalism bashing director Oliver Stone in his 1987 film Wall Street. Now, with a sequel, sequel Money Never Sleeps, hitting the theaters a little later this year, is Stone about to deliver another black eye to capitalism's reputation? My next guest hopes not. He served as an advisor for the film and will even be playing the role of an executive in the film. Joining me now is the CEO of John Thomas Financial and founder of RestoreWallStreet.com, Thomas Belisa. So, Thomas, what makes you think that this guy's going to be changing his tune? Well, I don't think it's, you know, necessarily changing its tune. I mean, the, the fascination with the first Wall Street was the, the greed is good. Right. Let's talk about that quote for a second. Right. I think people more fascinated with the bull markets of that time. You know, we had an 18-year bull market. The money that was being made by all the money managers, the advisors, and the brokers, I think that was the fascination with the greed yeah, is good Oliver at that time. Yeah, but Oliver Stone, we know where he is. Uh, he hates capitalism. He loves Hugo Chavez. He loves Fidel <laughs> Castro. He did a film about Castro called Comandante that was a kiss up to Castro like he was a sweet old uncle. I mean, the guy hates capitalism, loves socialism. So why do you think he's going to make this as, as sort of honorific of capitalism when he doesn't like it? Well, listen, you know, Oliver has said that Wall Street is a great engine for capitalism, but there's certain people out there that see more money in speculation. And I think well, on, that's certainly true. Yeah. And I think on this film, People are going to be more interested to see how the greatest financial um, uh, enterprise in the world almost collapsed. Well, look, some, some of what Wall Street was doing was awful. I mean, making these speculative bets on bad real estate loans, sure. and they should have known. In fact, sometimes they did know that the real estate loans on which they were basing their securities were bad. So, mis you know, bad things have been done by Wall Street, clearly. But you look at entire industries. The whole cable industry would not have been created without uh, junk bonds, for example. So Wall Street has done done some extraordinarily productive things. And I don't know if Oliver Stone sees that. You know, he absolutely sees that. And like, for instance, I thought he was just one of these hypocritical Hollywood socialists who, you know, it's easy to condemn capitalism if I got $10 million in a place in Bel Air. I mean, absolutely not. I mean, there's a lot of populist rhetoric out there that all Wall Street cares about right now are big bonuses, big salaries. Wall Street doesn't care about creating jobs. And, and they're wrong. And again, Wall Street has been painted as this devil. But I'll let but you. But you're sure that Oliver Stone buys what you're saying? Absolutely, he does. Absolutely. Have and you seen the new movie? You know, we've seen you know you clips, bits and pieces yeah, of it, but you haven't pieces. seen the whole thing. And, but I'll tell you one thing: I'm very confident that after the film, people are going to understand that the greatest economic engine in our society centers from Wall Street. And once people see the great things that have come from Wall Street, people are going to understand again, you know what? But again, this is the guy who did a film called Comandante, which was uh, <laughs> saying that Fidel Castro was a sweet guy who was doing the best he could for the country. He's a guy who goes to Venezuela and hails Hugo Chavez as a great man. You really think he's going to buy your message about Wall Street? I do. I do. I Why? Mean, I, what gives well, you listen, that confidence? I, I, Oliver has his views, but I can only tell you one thing. He's the greatest director of our time. And I can tell you one thing. I mean, you know, he is. He's done some great work. And I wouldn't me, call him the greater director of our right, time, let me but tell he's you done this. some great work. The first light that ever went on went on in the building that my company resides. Who financed Thomas Edison? J.P. Morgan. I mean, people want to see Wall Street as the devil because a few banks put together these debt instruments that flooded the universe and people got decimated with their well, capital. Well, you're preaching to the choir talking to me about this. But again, I will wait. You know, we, you and I should go together to see the movie. And if your jaw drops and you say, I didn't know he was going <laughs> to say that, <laughs> you know, I'm going to be able to say I told you well, so, but maybe I won't. Well, you'll work on the red carpet with me. So <laughs> be terrific. Good to see you. Thanks for coming Thank you in very again. much. Again. And it's your last chance to vote.